I've been thinking a lot about time travel recently. <laughs> I think a lot of people who live in regret often do. Yeah. <laughs> a popular question with time travel is, if you could, would you go back in time to kill a child, Adolf Hitler, before he rises to become the most insulting thing to compare a politician to? <laughs> and some people say, yes, of course I would, of course. I would do anything to prevent those horrific tragedies. It doesn't matter to me if Hitler is a child at the time. Hitler had no problem killing small children. Can we be a little quiet back then? <laughs> Speaking about people you wish you could go back in time and kill. <laughs> anyway, but some people say no. Some people say no. Some people say no, I couldn't do it. Even knowing what he will go on to do, I could not kill someone who had not yet done anything wrong. Now, everyone seems to have an opinion on whether or not it's okay to kill a young Hitler. But you know what no one will ask you? No one ever will ask you if you would go back in time to be Hitler's friend. Because that's what I would do. Or at least I would try. I would try so hard to be at least one friend for Hitler, just one. Because everyone remembers it so much for his crimes against humanity that you all forget that motherfucker was rich. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, get your social brownie point by saying that you would kill Hitler. Holy shit, you hate Adolf Hitler? What a brave stance to take this day and age. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's get you your own holiday. But you cannot go back and prevent the Holocaust, no matter how much pussy you think it'll get you. Not with bullets, not with friendship, it simply cannot be done. Why? Well, first off, because time travel to the past is now and always will be impossible. <laughs> now, Einstein proved you can travel to the future, but there ain't no going back. And by the way, it's not even cool to go to the future. All you have to do is fly really, really far into space. And by the time you get back, everyone you know and love is dead. And all that there is is a bunch of pissed off talking gorillas that hate you. <laughs> and you're like, how the hell did this happen? Well, James Franco wanted to cure Alzheimer's, so this is what you get. <laughs> Damn it! You think if there was one person on Earth that would want to help people forget things, it would be James Franco. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say, let's say, for the sake of this discussion, you could go back in time. You still can't kill Hitler. World War II was such a significant part of our history. It had such a massive impact that you'd be insane to think that had it not happened, your grandparents still would have gotten together. And even if they had, and by some bizarre miracle, they got it on just in time to make your father exactly, the odds of this alone are astronomical. The same exact thing would still need to happen to your other grandparents to make your mom, and then your mom and dad would need to find each other in order to make you. Now keep in mind, World War II never happened, so this means that there's a lot more options out there. Your mom was kind of hot, and none of those strapping young men went off to fight the Nazis. Now at this point, some of you might be thinking, Matthew, do you have the slightest clue what year World War II took place? It doesn't matter. What matters is, everyone in this room is alive today thanks to Adolf Hitler. Now what this means, what this means, is you can't go back in time to kill him because that would mean that you would no longer exist. Now I know that there are some great people among us who say, that doesn't affect me, Matthew. Given the chance, I would still go back in time to kill Hitler, even if it means I would never exist. It doesn't work like that! This isn't back to the future. You can't just, you're not just gonna fade away from photographs. That doesn't make any sense. If you don't exist, why would anyone take your picture? Do you think if Marty had failed to get his parents back together, George McFly would have just walked around with pictures of no one in his wallet? Hey, George, why you got all these pictures with no people in them? Oh, those are just the pictures of all the children that I don't have. 
I, uh, I take a new one each year, so in case they go missing, I can show the police what they don't look like. If you go back in time, kill Hitler, and that prevents you from existing, you can't grow up to go back in time to kill Hitler, which you just did. Congratulations, asshole! You just created a time paradox! Theoretically, this means you've destroyed everything in existence, ending the lives of way more Jews than Hitler possibly could have dreamed of. And just like that, you've become the very thing you sought to destroy. <laughs> But Matthew, but, but Matthew, isn't it possible? Couldn't you take the DNA of someone who had lived and died before Hitler was ever born, and then clone him and send him back to the, for the clone him for the specific purpose of killing Hitler? Would that not work? No, it wouldn't. Hitler, clone goes back in time, kills Hitler. World War II does not happen. The future sees no reason to send a clone back in time. A uh, fucking uh, time paradox. Everything's ruined again. Okay, but 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 what if you were to say attach a note to the clone that decreed <laughs> that in the year time travel is invented, this specific man will be cloned and sent to this specific year to. Kill this specific child who we in the old future have deemed to be pure evil. And if these directions are not followed by the citizens of the new future, everything will cease to be. Will that work? Fine, go ahead, do that. Just solve all your problems by sending time flows with notes back to the past until you created some sort of totalitarian utopia. Just, I don't fucking care. Just. Just don't vote for Jeb Bush, okay? <laughs> so anyway, my girlfriend uh, wanted me to go to this party I didn't want to go to. Uh, because as far as I uh, can figure, that's what she's there for. To make sure I do things that I don't want to do in exchange for allowing me to do her. <laughs> She wanted me to go to this party um, of one of her relatives because he's turning 21 and because that's a big deal and because he doesn't have a whole lot of friends. Now, I didn't want to go because I hardly know this guy. He's 21 and he already has a wife and a kid. Loser. <laughs> but most importantly, I didn't want to go because he doesn't have a whole lot of friends. And I decided to go because... Sometimes as an adult, we have to go to events that we don't want to go to because we know that there'll be booze there. And I think everyone in this room knows what I'm talking about. So I asked my girlfriend, hey, do I uh, need to pick you up or can, um, can we just meet there? And that's when I find out she's not even going. And when I ask her why, she tells me it's a no girls allowed kind of party. Well, I think I just figured out why Tim doesn't have a whole lot of friends. <laughs> He's a sexist bigot. So I get to the party, and I see Tim sitting at a table with these two other dorks, and they start telling me how awesome it is that I'm in comedy, and that this night's gonna get totally crazy, and I'm probably gonna end up putting it in my act, and I'm just sitting there going, like, yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> now, technically, we know that they were right. But fuck them, okay? That's so annoying. So anyway, the topic of conversation turns to Tim and his life, and uh, I'm not really paying attention. I'm throwing back Cuba Libres in a desperate attempt to make this night slightly bearable. And I just happen to start listening at the exact worst moment. I, I accidentally hear him say, just, just a little something about how next month his child, his daughter, will be turning seven. And at first, it doesn't register as odd at all. But then, like, five minutes later, it just hits me. Wait a minute. Tim's 21. And I start doing the math, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. And so I, well, hold on, Tim, help. Give, give, give me a second here. Uh, how old's your daughter again? And he looks me right in the eyes, and he says, oh, uh, she'll be turning seven years old next month. And I, I, I know it's the worst 
possible thing to do. But I, I couldn't help it. I just yelled out, what the fuck, man? She told me that she was 18. And I've got to go, so have a good night, everybody. Take care. Matthew Maloney, give it up, ladies and gentlemen.